What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a really interesting and useful video for you if you work with video and audio files. Basically, I work in YouTube and programming and on top of that I do some freelance voiceovers and voice acting. Over here I have a video file that I went ahead and recorded a voiceover for and completely did everything, edited it all nicely, uploaded it and the buyers asked me if it was possible to go ahead and upload the video without any processing on my voice done so that they can do it themselves. Basically, to go ahead and remove all of the effects from my video would have been nice and easy inside of Premiere Pro. I would just select everything, right click, remove audio effects, but then I'd have to go ahead and re-render the entire video. Now this video over here is probably about 5 minutes, so it would take a short while to render, but it wouldn't be impossible to re-render the entire video. Say that you're missing video files, or it would take way too long to re-render the whole video and swap out the audio. How exactly do you go ahead and swap out a video's audio with another audio file, say this one? I exported my entire video a second time, this time just without video, in AAC format, which is the same format that audio is stored inside of MP4s as. However, this could be MP3, WAV, or basically any other kind of audio format, and you can go ahead and swap out the audio inside of a video with an audio file. Before I get into that, I'll give you a quick preview. What's up guys, Technoba here. What's up guys, Technoba. As you can hear, there's a slight difference. One is processed, one is not, but instead of re-rendering out the whole video, how do we swap it with this one? Well, it's actually rather simple with a tool called FFmpeg. Now, I'm not going to go through installing it in this video, but there'll be a video linked down in the description below. If you're not using Windows, then you'll have to go ahead and look for how to install it on those other platforms, because this one is specifically for Windows. However, the command should be cross-platform, and you should be able to use it elsewhere. Assuming that you have FFmpeg installed, I'll go ahead and click the top of the folder and type in CMD in this little URL bar. I'll hit enter and a command prompt window will open in the same folder, hfreelance, hfreelance. If I go ahead and type in FFmpeg and hit enter, you should see something like this. If you see anything along the lines of FFmpeg is not a recognized command, then it's not installed. Check the description down below for a video on how to do that. If you see this bit of text over here, then it's working. Then we can go ahead and start swapping out the audio file. So of course, we'll start off with FFmpeg space hyphen I to specify an input file. And I'll go ahead and say player particles dot mp4. Of course, if your video file or audio file has a space in it, you'll need to go ahead and surround the file name in quotation marks to make sure that the whole thing is counted as one argument. If you add a space, it'll count as a separate argument. So I've got ffmpeg hyphen i meaning input player particles, which is the name of the video file. I'll go ahead and type in space hyphen i meaning input once again, space inverted commas new audio dot aac, which is the name of the audio file over here. As such, from here, I'll type in hyphen v codec space copy, meaning that we're copying the video codec itself and we're not changing anything there. I have missed out a space here, so I'll go back and add one. Then space a codec, and we can use copy once again. Why can we use copy? Well, because MP4's audio container is AAC, and that's exactly the file that I have over here. If I check the video files information in a program like Media Info, if we scroll down to audio, you can see that audio format is AAC LC, meaning that these two are the same format, and I can simply replace the MP4's audio with this audio over here meaning I can use copy. However, if you're not sure or you don't know the difference, then I'd recommend you go ahead and check out the best place for information, which is the FFmpeg wiki. I'm currently on the encode slash AAC page. And if we have a look down here, you can see the command that we're going to be using. So CA, meaning codec for audio, libfdk underscore AAC. This is what we'd use if we want to change whatever audio we're inputting, such as this WAV file, into AAC audio for the output video. So you can go ahead and try a codec space AAC, followed by the rest of the command that we'll go through now. However, if that doesn't work, I'd recommend copying this information from over here. So libfdk underscore AAC. But because the audio in the original video and this file over here are both AAC already, I'll simply leave it as copy space map zero colon zero space hyphen map once again, space one colon zero. Then we'll press space once again, and we'll type in an output name. So I'll name it output.mp4, close inverted commas, and I'll hit enter. Then it'll run through, 
and we've created ourselves another video file over here. As you can see, it's slightly smaller because we copied the entire video across, but we replaced out the audio with a slightly smaller file. So I'll go ahead and open up the original, followed by the audio I wanted to replace it with, and then the final product. What's up, guys? Technobo. What's up, guys? Technobo here. What's up, guys? Technobo here. For What's up, guys? What's up, guys? As you can hear, there is a slight difference, meaning that we've successfully taken this audio file over here and stuck it into this video over here and put it into an output video file so we haven't lost anything in case we messed up somewhere along the line. Of course, if you're happy with this, you can select both your original video and your replacement audio and delete them because we have the output file over here. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.